Hi guys, so it's really early. I've snuck out of the house before the kids are up um, and have got to go back and do their breakfast, take them to school, but I was awake all night thinking um, this is quite an exciting thing. Um, it's so weird what happens, isn't it? I spent yesterday feeling so gloomy and I didn't really know quite what to do about everything. I still don't, but one thing I have realised, especially from your response on my Instagram post yesterday, is that being creative really, really helps us calm down and hold our nerve. And I think block printing is particularly great because it's really repetitive. So you can completely lose yourself in a repeat pattern once you get printing. So I feel really excited about doing this with you all. I don't know if I'm gonna do them live or record them, but I just wanted to put a video out there for you to get all the bits and pieces that you need. I'm really aware that I have a studio with everything I could possibly want in it for block printing. And so I'm gonna try and do it in a similar way to if I was at my kitchen table as well. And I've scooped through the kids' art cupboard and found a piece of card and a cute little piece of pink paper. I have drug, dug out an old pot I use already in my studio, but it was just an old hummus pot. I have found a tester pot of paint, which is a colour I really like, so I'm gonna be happy printing with that. And then I've got a spoon and a paintbrush. If you haven't got a paintbrush, maybe a bit of sponge or something just to get the paint onto the potato for printing got my trusty kitchen knife and then I found an old sack of slightly unwanted potatoes they've got roots coming out of them in the very back of my vegetable box and they're not great big bakers which could be a really fun thing to make a big print with but I've just picked out one so I'm going to be doing quite a small uh, pattern I haven't decided what yet but there we go and we'll just start with paper just get the principles in place to start with and then later I've actually got here some old sort of tea towel fabric and I've got a disused or an unwanted duvet cover. It got completely ripped on a rose when I was driving outside once and it sat here waiting for me to sew it up and I haven't. So I'm thinking actually I could rip that up, cut that up and print on it. Someone's always already got in touch saying that's what they, they want to print on their sheets. And actually sheets are really nice to print on because they've been washed loads. So they've got really lovely and soft and they take the paint really well. So that is all you need. So go and get all your bits and pieces ready. I will go and feed my kids and take them to school and do a bit of work. And then I'm gonna come up here and I'm not gonna to think too hard about what I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna do it as if we're just all a fresh group around a table um, and we're all gonna to print together. And yeah, this could be really exciting. First thoughts, I suppose, actually, before I go, is it's Mother's Day on Sunday. So actually that gives me a really good reason to be making something creative. Lots of you might not want to pop into a shop to buy a card right now. And actually a homemade card is possibly the nicest thing that either you or your children could send in the post right now. I just heard on the, on the news that Royal Mail are fully operational. So that's so exciting. We can go back to trusty old fashioned post. All right, see you later.